this is. Seven oh six, some clouds. We're in a flood watch. How about that? The wall of water moves in tonight. Good chance of rain all night tonight and a good deal of tomorrow. 96.5 KECO in Elk City. It's time to talk. 225-9697 is the text line. What's on your mind? Talk back. 225-9697. Tell us what's on your mind. Please. Please tell us what's on your mind. Nathan, based on that in-depth forecast you just gave. Yeah. It sounds like tomorrow night's football games could be soggy and sloggy. They're in question. And in doubt. It's going to be like Southeast Asia. But other than that. That's for you, Chad Roper. But other than that, we're going to have Elk City at Woodward tomorrow night. 6.30 pregame, 7 o'clock kick. BigElkTV.com. Elk City wins. They're in the playoffs. If they win, they're in. If they lose, it's already time to go to baseball. Uh-huh. In fact, did you know if they lose, they're going to skip basketball, go straight to baseball. Oh, my. All right, I made that up. That's not true. Do they have concession stands at baseball games? Like they do at football and basketball games. Sure. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But thanks for asking. Also tomorrow night, Merritt at Watonga. We'll see if they serve cheese in the stands. Cheese at halftime. Merritt at Watonga. Cheese in the stands. Cheese at halftime. Will they have a charcuterie? Will they have a, a crudite? Have you ever thought about how if there were no high school sports, how many fewer wieners would be consumed? <laughs> I mean, have you even not thought until about that? now? Nacho cheese, ParagonTV.com. I mean, those big, those twenty-gallon jars of jalapenos. The pickles, yeah, the big pickles. And what about the little? What do they call them? Boats. They put the nachos mm. in. Are they called boats? The Frito Chili Pie boats. Oh boy! Did I tell you about the walking taco I had last week? No, I think it was last week. Over at, over at school at Sayre, just before Halloween on Wednesday. Just it was a week ago yesterday. At Halloween. Man, Halloween. I, I obliterated that walking taco. They are. Have you ever had one with real, authentic Doritos for the chips? I'm pretty sure I have, yeah. I was reminded how much I love Doritos. <laughs> I eat Doritos once every seven years. Well, Landry, if you, lo- if you like that, you're going to love this. Get ready for Hot Dog Saturday at Atwoods. This Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., two hot dogs and a Shasta Cola for $1. Two hot dogs and a Shasta Cola for $1. Chad Roper undertones throughout the show so far. Blander, it's Black Friday now at Atwoods. Today? A 21-gallon utility tub. At first, I thought it said Unity Tub. <laughs> But it didn't. It's a it's a utility tub. It's usually ten ninety nine. Right now six ninety nine. I call that four dollars off. It's a Black Friday price now, and that's not even Brian's buy of the week. The twenty seven gallon heavy duty tote that's usually eleven ninety nine is right now just eight ninety nine. At Woods Ranch and Home Goods, get this information inside the latest penny news. Good news, we got him to come back. In a few more minutes, Robert <laughs> F. Kennedy Jr. will be here to read you the latest penny news. So exciting. Where are we? 47 degrees, overcast skies, according to my desktop. Oh, is it? Is it overcast? I can't it's see It's dark. It's, I, uh, trees. You want to know when you walk away from your job, 10, 20, 30 years from now, you want to know then you'll still live comfortably. They put a plan together for you years ago, and it's working. And in a few years, you will retire, and you will get to do what you want. Feels good not to worry about that. Advanced Financial Strategies in Clinton. The website is retirewithbacca.com. I'm confused. The heading and subheading of this article, Oklahoma voter turnout shrinks in 2024. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma cast over one and a half million ballots for president this year, which is nearly 4,000 more votes than were cast in the previous presidential election. So more votes were cast, but voter turnout shrunk. <laughs> Doesn't make, I don't understand. That makes exactly zero now, sense. Now, maybe if I read the whole story, it would make sense, but I'm, I'm inclined to just call Dale Denwalt and ask him. I'm looking at the latest Mangum Star news. You won't be able to see it till tomorrow, but I'm looking at it today because I'm in a select, powerful group 
that gets to see the Mangum Star News a day early, actually two days early. When you pick up a copy of page one tomorrow, you're going to see a headline on the top that says rates for trash services in Mangum going up. You're also going to see Mangum police officers Aaron Lowry and James Sartain sworn in at the latest city commission meeting. The Greer County Local Emergency Planning Committee, or LEPC, their quarterly meeting is going to be tomorrow. What else are you going to find on page one, Landry? How did Greer County vote on Election Day? Mike Bush has a recap of how Greer County voted. Uh, Win big with Greer Bucks tickets. Hometown Christmas, December 7 and 14. Get ready for Christmas. Veterans Day ceremony is going to be held. uh, And lunch, Monday in Mangum. Mangum Band is selling holiday goodies for a fundraiser. 2025 seniors honored at Texoma football game. By the way, not only did Mangum's perfect football season come to, I mean, the the perfection of the season's not over, but they lost a game. Oh. They finally, they were seven or eight and oh going into the week. They lost a game by one point. Oh. Heartbreaker. And it was a high scoring affair. They lost by one point. Let me get the final score. I want to give it to you exactly because you know me, Landry. Mm-hmm. When it comes to football sure. scores, I like to give them exactly. You need exactitude. They lost to Thomas Fay Custer 47 to 46. How about that? But we've got on Coach's Corner, we've got the players of the week down there. You can get a recap of the football game. A one point heartbreaking loss. But there's also, in the Mangum Star News that'll be out tomorrow, there's also a salute to veterans and a Veterans Day Q&A. And there you have it. Mangum Star News will be out tomorrow. Everybody everybody, run, grab a copy when the stores open up. Or subscribe and have it mailed to your home. Nathan, I think I figured it out by reading the first two sentences of the story. Even though more Oklahomans voted this year than four years ago, it was a smaller percentage of eligible voters. Oh, gee. So we had more people, more, more people voted, but as a percentage of the eligible electorate, smaller percentage. Uh, voter turnout grows as it shrinks. <laughs> now back to you. Yes, thank you. Makes no sense. 14 minutes after 96.5 KECO is the early morning show. If you're going to school, if you're going to work, good morning. If you're on the tractor, if your name is Jimmy Rector. Is Derek Manning still mentoring Dale Denwald? <laughs> in law enforcement, yes. <laughs> Did you say law enforcement? enforcement? That is exactly what I said. Lenny, start singing that song from Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Nobody knows what frozen custard is until they taste it, and then they never forget it. It is denser, richer, smoother, and creamier than ice cream. Creamier, smoother, richer, and denser than ice cream. It has to do with air and eggs. But when you taste it, you're not going to care why. You'll just want more and more and more. Get your own. Get it to go. 66 to go. West of Elk City. Frozen custard. Make custard's last stand, Landry. (laughs) The custard county conflict. Do you think that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. took... The custard quiz. Do you even think? I sure hope he did. Bobby Kennedy Jr. took the custard quiz. All right. Would you like to introduce him now? Uh, I'd like to put your hands together, everybody. We're going to bring on a special guest this morning. Mr. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is going to read some or all of the latest. <laughs> Of the latest Penny News. Welcome, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Thank you for joining us uh, on the early morning. Thank you. <laughs> Aero Quip Cattle Equipment, Shoots, Alleys, Tubs, and more. Portable and stationary uh, hydraulic and manual shoots. Everett's Welding and Repair. It's on page one of the latest Penny News. It came out. It's it's in stores all over Western Oklahoma. The Penny News is out for you. The Penny News Brothers, the Penny Blues Brothers, Penny News Blues Brothers, Blues Clues, Blues Brothers. Which one's your favorite, Blues Clues or the Blues Brothers? I love. There was something very soothing and calming and pleasing about watching Blues Clues, especially with the first host. Is he Steve? Mm-hmm. Who was the second guy? Joe? I was, think it was Joe. Didn't the, didn't the story get out that Steve died or somebody killed yeah. him? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't think that was true. Cantrell Grissom Cattle Company is having their inaugural <laughs> fall female and bull sale this Saturday. It is in, let's see, Cantrell Grissom Cattle Company sale facility is in Earlsboro. Oh, they got a new location. Cantrell Grissom, their new location, Earlsboro. Where is that? Nobody knows. Cantrell Grissom Cattle Company, inaugural fall female and bull sale. This Saturday, 12.30 p.m. This Saturday, 12.30 p.m. By the way, if you're ever thinking about doing a print ad, black background's harder to see. The, the white background, yeah. white background, black text, easier to see. Black, ba- every, a, a lot of people want to do black background yeah. because they think, oh, this will be, it'll look bold and cool. It's harder to read when you do a black background. My really kid, dark. My kids claim that on, on the computer screen, if mm-hmm. you have a white background, it's too bright. It's always too bright. They want to change it. Mm. I don't get that. Are your cattle winter ready? No. It, look at page 12 of the Penny News. Get your cattle winter ready. Latest Penny News is out. Go get a copy. What do we have? About 24 pages of delights this week? <laughs> That's what I call it. 24 pages of delights, Lander. Mm. Mm. Uh, yes. Okay, I did football. I did that. 18 minutes after 7 o'clock. Uh, oh, a big event coming up this weekend. We're going to we're gonna play a song for it in just a moment. Also, I want to talk about sleep. I had a revelation recently. While you wait for the early morning show to return on KECO, please enjoy these complimentary copies of National Geographic. If they call me, they're expecting me to get whatever task done. To a farmer, a tractor, combine, gets them up and running. Uh, he's back in the field, makes some money. Guy in the oil field, their piece of equipment's running again. That makes some money. Solves that problem. I'm Brock Calc, and my company is American Hose and Supply. We sell all types of industrial hose and fittings, oil field or agriculture. So if uh, your farmer need a hose built, you can come in. We'll build it. You're a oil field customer and need us to come out and see you, we'll come out and see you and take an order or pick up a hose, build it, bring it back to you. If we're competitive on price, we say we'll bring it to you. We'll do whatever it takes to get it to you. we make life easier on you or you can call us to solve a problem. Hey, can you get this? Why wouldn't you? My company is American Hose and Supply. Come by and see us at 2111 South Main, Elk City, Oklahoma, in the Camrock Building next to Fred's, or call me at 580-821-4413, 821-4413. half ton of steel on top and country roads underneath mean your tires take a beating. Hi, this is Colin Dyson. That's why you need the best quality, because your family safety is too important. But you don't want to break the bank. With the buying power of the Ford Motor Company, Barbara Dyson Ford already has the top tire brands at the best prices. But now, they're even better. With our rebates right now, you can get the best quality tires for your family and keep even more money in your pocket for the holidays. Better tires at lower prices are part of the Barbara Dyson difference. Online at barbaradysonford.net. Briley Baca is an investment advisor representative of and advisory services offered through Royal Fund Management, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. He remembers his dad coming home from the rigs in the early 1980s with his coveralls covered in grease and oil. Then he followed his dad's footsteps into the oil field. He likes the work and appreciates what it's done for his family. But he likes something else a lot more. He and his wife have three grown kids who have kids of their own now. They love playing with those grandbabies. Soon, they'll see their grandkids all they want. Might even fix up the house and go on that Caribbean honeymoon they couldn't afford 35 years ago. When his family was young, he contacted some people who put a plan together for him. He and his wife sacrificed and worked the plan all these years. Their patience and persistence are about to pay off. Advanced Financial Strategies in Clinton, retirewithbacca.com, or 323-6800. All the work you're doing now should lead to something better someday. A person who has never smiled can start smiling. There's just a look on their face that completely changes. When we give them a mirror and show them their new smile, there's nothing that warms my heart more. I had a gentleman in his 50s and his whole life, he never had a front tooth. His front tooth was stuck up in the bone. He had been to dentist before, but nobody really talked to him about his options. That was just the most rewarding thing. And afterwards, he sent me the sweetest card about how the Lord put a smile on his heart 
but I put a smile on his face and that's pretty rewarding. I'm Dr. Jamie Cameron at Southwest Dentistry and Cosmetics in Weatherford and on Mondays at Liberty Dental in Carnegie. Our website is swdentalok.com or just Google us. Southwest Dentistry and Cosmetics, where we treat you like family and do life-changing dentistry. And I've got to say, it's pretty life-changing for us whenever we see you with your new smile. Fine Line wants your car, and they're going to pay you for it. Top dollar. Call Steve Jones at Fine Line, 225-9111. 225-9111. Make some money. Nathan and Landry Brewer are so talented, we're thinking about actually paying them to do this gig. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. How come? The Early Morning Show continues right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's the Early Morning Show fundraiser for the Feed My Family campaign. 96.5 KECO's The Early Morning Show. Empty shelves at the feed store will not do your cattle any more good than bear pasture will. At Kirk Feeds at Eric, the warehouse is stocked up with high-pro feed, and it's going to stay that way. Look at their Facebook page for the address and phone number. Kirk Feeds at Eric, keeping the warehouse stocked, so get what you need. All they ask is a fair price in return. I make you crazy. I had a revelation recently. Remember all those, well, actually two revelations. Remember back in the summer when I kept having trouble sleeping? Remember when I would be up all night? I'd go watch TV for two or three or four hours because I couldn't sleep? I think I do. I really do wonder if that wasn't related to the heat. I think it may be because for about three nights in a row after the time change, I slept badly. I couldn't go to sleep. And then I couldn't stay asleep. And I don't know that it, I, I, at first I thought it might have something to do with the time change, even though that seemed counterintuitive. And then I decided I was too warm at night. Mm. My bedroom gets warm. I don't, it's the warmest room in the house, always has been. And even though outside my bedroom, that the temperature in the house, very pleasant. In my bedroom, it's warm. And I think that heat in my bedroom was interfering with my sleep. Sleep fascinates me, and it has for years. One of the things about it is this, uh, scientists and doctors can't really give you a good explanation of what sleep is. All they know is every, all your bodily functions, everything, heart rate, just everything slows down. And so your body is still functioning, you're alive and your body's functioning. But so exactly, they can't really explain to you and me what happens that causes sleep. What is sleep? You're awake, you're just not a conscious. So that that whole thing fascinates me. And as you get older, when when you're 10, 12, 15, 20, 25, 30 years old, you don't think a thing about it. You get tired, you go to sleep. In the morning, you wake up and get up and go about your life. And it's not until you really get into your 40s and suddenly sleeping is difficult. And the older you get, the harder it is to sleep. You can't sleep. So that fascinates me. I think I did a science experiment, maybe at the science fair when I was in high school. I think it had something to do with sleep or sleep deprivation. I mean, that's one of the ways that they interrogate people. When people interrogate other people, sleep deprivation is one of those things that they do. And it's one of those things I think they make you do when you're going through special, maybe Navy SEAL training, that sort of thing, is to deprive you of sleep. It is fascinating to me, all the whole concept of it, but what happens to your body when you lose sleep? What happens to your body? It can make you depressed. It can change your mood. Ultimately, it'll kill you. I mean, you have to have sleep. You have to. But I always used to think, Landry, I always used to think, boy, wouldn't it be great if we didn't have to sleep? Because then you could be so much more productive. Mm -hmm. You spend roughly a third to a fourth of your life asleep. Look at all that lost productivity. Well, then back in the summer, I had a couple of nights where I couldn't sleep. Let me tell you something. It wasn't fun. I wasn't productive. Whenever, First of all, when everybody else is asleep and you're awake, you got to be quiet. It's dark. So it's not like you can just run around like it's daytime. You can't turn all the lights on in the house. You can't have the TV turned up. I remember thinking, I don't like this. I would really rather be asleep. And so I've decided that we are better off. Maybe God knew what he was doing when he created us to need sleep. Well, we would we would have to not get tired to not need sleep. And, right. and the thing is, we do get tired. Mm-hmm. And so even in, in the nights where we have difficulty sleeping, our body's still tired. 
why isn't it tired enough to go to sleep? Well, maybe that's not it. Maybe there are other factors because nobody really <laughs> understands what sleep is. Yesterday, I was driving home after work and I was listening to the radio, of course, and there was talk about election night coverage and somebody was on who had maybe been awake all night. And that just got me thinking about how worthless I am. I couldn't stay up all night. I don't think I could stay up all night now. And mm. if I did, I would feel terrible the next day. Because when I lose sleep, I lose the ability to think. It makes my brain foggy. I can't think clearly. I'm irritable. I feel bad. My mood worsens. I'm more easily to I, I get in a funk. Everything is bad when I lose sleep. And so I need sleep. When you're a kid, when I was a kid, I thought it was so cool. And apparently every kid thinks this. If you could just stay up all night, have a sleepover, have a friend over, we'll stay up all night. And by three in the morning, I'm so tired, I can barely keep my eyes open. I, I have stayed awake before for 24 hours. It's misery. Yeah, it is. And I can't function. It's, I simply it, cannot function. It, I don't know how people stay awake for 36 hours or 48 hours and they can work. Yeah. Do things. It, al- it also fascinates me. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Pardon me. It also fascinates me that there are some people who need very little sleep and some people who need a lot. There are people who need, need eight or nine hours of sleep every night. And if they don't get it, look out. But then there are other people. There's a gentleman named Stephen Schwartzman. He's very successful. He co-founded the Blackstone Group, which is one of these big financial. They handle all this money for people and investments and this, that, and the other. Five hours a night. And that's just standard. Five hours a night is all he needs. Five hours. Now, Jeff Bezos, also very successful, he demands eight hours. <laughs> eight hours of sleep. Stephen Schwartzman, five hours. I talked to a gentleman recently, a business owner right here in Western Oklahoma. He said three, four hours a night. Really? Yeah. Ugh. I man, I I admire it, uh, but because if I don't get and I, I get up early, but and I have trouble sleeping now, but I need at least six hours. Okay, that's that's what I strive to get. Now, last night because I was feeling terrible, mm. I got almost seven hours. I went to bed about nine fifteen last night. Why? Do you know why you were feeling so bad? Yeah. Lack of sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Which is another funny thing. Again, if you lose sleep long enough, it it makes you sick. It makes you feel sick. Mm-hmm. There, there have been many times I've felt really, really bad, and it's not because I was sick. It's because I was tired. It's, and it's also amazing what a good night of sleep mm-hmm. will do for you and heal you. It makes you feel better, and it improves your outlook. It makes your your disposition sunnier. To the text line, 225-9697. What are your thoughts on sleep. First of all, 49 at Granite. Good morning, fellas. I heard there was a radio station with a show where we can text in and just ramble about nothing, asking for a friend. <laughs> okay, weathermen, flood advisory warnings for Western Oklahoma. Yes, mentioned that earlier. We're in a flood watch. We're in a flood watch. It's going to start late today. Then all, It's going to rain all night tonight and just about all day tomorrow. So look out. Colorado here. I do my shopping at Kirk's in Eric. They've got awesome prices on their feed. Thank you very much. I just mentioned that, Kirk Feeds. They keep it stocked. You guys should put a concession stand in the station and have an order window that connects to the studio. Nice. (laughs) As a fundraiser. Followed up with, it's related to living in fear. Stop living in fear. (laughs) Another listener on the text line at 225-9697. You ever notice when you're asleep, you're not using your cell phone in dreams? You know what? That's crazy, but you're right. It's true. Never. I don't don't think I've ever used a cell phone in my dream. Here we go. I'm channeling David Payne. Here we go. All right, here we go. The Sweetwater High School Boys Cross Country Team won the state title yesterday in Edmond. They also had members place individually in the top 20 in the state. And number one, and one, excuse me, and one in the top 10. Congratulations, Coach Daffern. And by the way, I'm just reading. I'm not responsible for spelling or pronunciation because my pronunciation is based on the spelling. Uh, congratulations, Coach Daffern, Tristan Billingsley, Levi Ackerman, Colin Odom, Blake Laster, Austin Megley, and Jude Lansford. They know how to run in Sweetwater. It's like McFarlane USA over oh, at Sweetwater. That's a good movie. My family and I watched that twice. I need. I've watched it once. I need to watch it again. Kevin Costner is this football, co- this high school coach who gets into some trouble. He wanted to throw a pin or something at one of his football players, Boy, and he was relieved so of his duties. And so the only job the only job he could get was in some California border town. 
Lost and found on a border. And, it, and they made it, what was he, the assistant football coach? But then he realized that the the students there, who were largely of uh, Mexican ancestry, were good runners. They were great runners. And so he started up... <laughs> He started up this running team. They were they were running. And they Nathan. just kept running. And huh? They just kept running, and they were McFarland USA, and they won. You know what they did? They won the championship. Uh oh, rats! Did I give it away? Doggone it! It's Landry. a good movie. It's a lot better than that golfing movie with Dennis Quaid, where uh, down in somewhere in Texas, the kids. It's still a pretty good flick. Eh, it's not that good though. <laughs> just contradicted did, did, what you did said. Did you or That's anybody you know ever watch the Reagan movie? With Dennis Quaid, people I know did. Michael Sloan was at the big premiere well, in right. Edmond, and he got to, to meet Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid, did he get his picture taken with him? His wife did. Get his autograph? I don't know. Take a lock of his hair. Andrew, these are all. I'll call Michael and ask him. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think Robert F. Kennedy was there? If Robert F. Kennedy were there, yikes! Would he have taken you a re- copy of the Penny News with him? Are you? Re- Wait a minute, <laughs> Bob Kennedy Jr. Hold on, coming up. <laughs> We got we got him to come back. He's a busy guy, but he agreed to come back later on. We're going to have Robert F Kennedy Jr reading more of the penny news to us. Will there be enough rain that they will cancel work? <laughs> it remains to be seen. Did you hear that Jaleel Farouk and Dion Burks may oh, Jim, be back Christmas. in the line, maybe back in the line Landry, for the team Landry. against the, for the game against the Fighting Drinkwitzes this Saturday? Is that at Columbia? Is that at Missouri? Oh, you Columbia. No, it's here. No, it's here in America. It's not going to be in Columbia. They make great coffee up there in Columbia. Missouri. One of our listeners says, one of our listeners says, here we go on the text line. It's scientifically proven if you get four to six hours of sleep a night, it makes you age faster. <gasps> Your body needs at least eight hours. Now, come on. Who gets eight hours of sleep a night? Is there anybody out there that gets eight hours? Babies. It's not as fun and very difficult to sleep during the day. I was stuck on swing shift and graveyards for about 12 years. Hmm. Walked around like a zombie. <laughs> Averaged two to four hours of sleep a day. It oh was my. terrible. Oh, my. Yeah, if you've ever worked the night shift, you know sleeping in the day, dicey, difficult. I've done it. Not fun. Don't recommend it. I don't either. The world was not made to work at night. We were made to work in the day and sleep at night. It's rough. Andrew, the night cometh when no man can work. Well, apparently for me and you, the night cometh when no man can sleep. Uh Uh-huh. The night cometh? Who gets eight hours of sleep a night? I want to meet you. How do you? I want to look you in the eye and say, how do you do it? I don't. Since I was a kid, I think I've had trouble sleeping. I always felt like sleeping was giving up. If I went to bed, I might miss something. So I would lie in bed with my eyes open. I have always envied people who can quickly go to sleep. And anywhere they are. I mean, I have trouble enough sleeping at home in my own bed. When I'm, when I'm someplace else, forget about it. It's tough. Eventually, if you operate heavy machinery, eventually you're going to need hoses because all the pressure, all the heat, all the liquid, it's just it's, man, it's a bad deal. Friction, Landry. Pressure, heat, friction, hoses, bust. Yep. American Hose and Supply. Here we go. American Hose and Supply, Landry. Get ready. Eastbound and down. American Hose and Supply inside the Camrock building for all your hoses and fittings. I mean, it's just, I mean, you're an American, aren't you? Mm -hmm. American Hose and Supply. 96.5 KEC was the early morning show. My father was a... Let me start over. My father was an emergency room doctor. He had 72-hour shifts oh my. for years. Why? Why do they make people do that? Why? I mean, that does seem, speaking of counterintuitive, it seems unsafe to make doctors, especially doctors in emergency rooms, work these shifts where they have to be awake a lot. I remember watching the show ER. Remember that show? Yeah. Watching that 25 years ago? Mm-hmm. And the guy on duty, the, I don't know, Ukrainian, Czechoslovakian guy, the doctor, he was he had been awake for something like 48 hours, and I thought, do you really want a doctor who's sleep-deprived treating emergency room patients? I trow not. I mean, what if he accidentally cut off the wrong ankle? <laughs> <laughs> you know, those ankleectomies are serious. <laughs> but if you're super tired, you might make a mistake. Uh, let me uh, no, let me read the rest of what this listener said. Brother Bobby was coming in just then. <laughs> uh, uh, my father was... My father was an emergency room doctor. He had 72-hour shifts for years. Then they went to 48 hours, 
then to 24 hours. But they left him sleep? He hated when they went to 12 hours. 72 hours, sh- three days? That can't be right. Surely they let that them can't sleep. can't be right. 72 them, hours? Surely they let them sleep. He hated when they went to 12 hour shifts. Speaking, speaking, I not understand. Speaking of your great stories, Nathan, yeah. the Al Harris Library at Southwestern and Weatherford, they're, they're reaching out to Western Oklahoma. They want your stories about growing up. They want you to be part of the Voices and Votes Democracy in uh-huh. America mm-hmm. Oral History yeah. Project. They just want you to sit down and answer some questions. It's going to take 15 minutes or less. They just want you to tell your stories about living in western Oklahoma and growing up in western Oklahoma. Do you have a story to tell? Do you want it preserved for the next generation of Americans and western Oklahomans? You need to reach out to Jason Dupree. He is the librarian, the head librarian at Swazoo and Weatherford, the Al Harris Library. His name is Jason Dupree. 225-9697 is the uh, cell phone number. <laughs> is our cell phone number. <laughs> that you can text two two five nine six nine seven. Text us your thoughts on sleep. How much sleep? I want to know. Every listener out there, how much sleep do you get a night? How much do you need? Can, are you one of those who can go? What I have heard a lot of is people say, "Oh yeah, I can do three or four hours of sleep a night, and then I have to crash at at some point." Are you one of those? Are you one of those who needs every night? You got to have eight, nine, ten hours of sleep a night. I've heard of those people. Two two five nine six. Nine seven. We like having options. We like to choose. If you're ready to choose a new vehicle, Barbara Dyson Ford has more options right now than any time in the last five years, maybe ever. More styles, more sizes, and more colors than ever. Choose for yourself. Barbara Dyson Ford online, barbaradysonford.net. Hey, Nathan, you know those fundraisers where the local theater will put up, what is it, swans or uh, uh, flamingos? Oh, yeah. Flamingos. Yeah. There's something similar going on with the Oak City High School tennis program. And our sister just got landed. A green toilet toilet with tennis balls on it. (laughs) Nathan and Landry Brewer will continue to confuse you in just a little bit. Duh! On the early morning show on KEZO. He was a school teacher and a missionary for almost 20 years. Not the sort of thing you do for the money or the glamour. That's why people trust him. Like the gentleman who wanted to buy a grain bin from him but couldn't decide which one. So he gave our man a check and he said he'd let him know later which one he picked. Our guy prefers to look people in the eye. He'll drive four hours to hand you a quote. Hand it to you. He thinks doing business face to face is the best way. Having your own grain bin on site makes all the sense in the world. You don't have to find space somewhere else for your grain. Storing it at your own place makes it really convenient. And it'll make you money. But the real reasons people buy grain bins from Wall Equipment? They trust a guy named Reggie. And because it's easy to do business with the Wall family. The website is wallequip.com. The building is the big silver bin on I-40 East of Clinton, just west of Love's. The Wall family is in business to solve your problems. At Modern Fitness in Elk City, it's your fitness at your schedule because you've got 24-hour access. Now, if you expect your gym to be clean, have a variety of workout machines, multiple types of weightlifting bars and plates, and most importantly, clean bathrooms and showers to get ready in. Modern Fitness has all of these things, and you and your family can get in shape and stay in shape for years to come. Stop by and sign up at 215 East 7th Street at Modern Fitness in Elk City. Up in the gym, just working on my fitness. He's my witness. Yeah, farmers can be pretty tough. Oil field companies, they need it as long as we give them a fair price. They let's go. Farmers, they're pretty tough because it, it's a hard world in farm, you know, in the farming market. It's it's tough. So they're gonna do all they can to get the best deal they can and we're gonna give it to them. Everything for maintenance on your equipment, changing your oils, you need some antifreeze, you need some hydraulic oil, any kind of grease. We got the bolts and fasteners now, we're opening up electrical fittings, zip ties. Penetrating oils, you know, windshield washers, all your shop towels, hand wash stuff, you know, any type of stuff like that. Anything for like a maintenance shop or something like that where you're doing maintenance work. Just getting everything else that we can to make us a one-stop shop. And if we don't have it there, we're going to get it for you somehow or another. And it's not going to take two weeks to get it. Camrock is the name of the company. It's 2111 South Main, Elk City, south of Fred's Steakhouse. 
I'm Ronnie Red. Myself, Brock Kalk, and uh, Casey Miller are your owners at Camrock. Three local guys just looking to do business with our community. Garrett Stiegel has 20 years in the oil field. Willie Carrasco has about 30 years. And Bones Kelly is one of the godfathers of slick line and braided line work. Bones has 50 years experience. On the swabbing side in Elk City, the Rogers boys, Cody and Curtis, have over 50 years of oil field experience. The wireline and swabbing company they work for is Asher Oil Field. Asher has eliminated all the red tape. There's no faraway corporate office, no board of directors, no committees, no legal decisions or HR decisions. Just old-fashioned common sense. If you call, they go. If there's a discrepancy, they deal with it immediately. Customers like it, and that's why Asher has so much repeat business in all three of their locations, Elk City, Lindsay, and Woodward. If you know Bones, Willie Carrasco, Garrett Stiegel, Curtis Rogers, or Cody Rogers, give them a call or look them up online at asheroilfield.com. For wireline and swabbing, Asher Oilfield cuts through all the red tape and gets the job done. For over 100 years, Farm Credit of Oklahoma has proudly served our area's farmers and ranchers. So when it comes to ag lending, don't fret it, call Farm Credit. You'll never regret it. Information, entertainment. Nathan and Landry Brewer call it infotainment. And it continues right now. The Early Morning Show on KECO. <laughs> Seventeen away from the top, ninety-six point five KECO's the early morning show. Nathan and Landry and you, we thank you so much, <laughs> and we are so very thankful. We are so very thankful. Keep the lights turned on with Carter Electric. That's all I'm going to say. That's not really all I'm going to say. Nobody believed that, right? Keep your lights turned on with Carter Electric. Forty percent chance of showers and thunderstorms after three o'clock today. Otherwise cloudy. High of fifty-seven. Landry, high of fifty-seven. Mm-hmm. Feels scrumptious. Ooh. Scrumptious. Tonight, 90% chance showers and thunderstorms. Low 46. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tomorrow, we start the weekend. Showers and maybe a thunderstorm. We're looking at one. Uh, bring up, shoot. Bring up the Gary Morris song. Uh, do, I, do we even have sound over here? Uh, what am, Why am I asking you? I've got to. I can bring it up myself. Oh, okay. Hold on. Those deals. Hold on. Wait a minute. See who gets there first. Oh, that's the first song that comes up. Was that his biggest hit? No. Was that his only hit? No. I got it over here. Oh, wait a minute. After 17 seconds, I do. Mm -hmm. Your love amazes Doggone it. I wish I would have had this. It's spinning, and it's spinning. Yeah, you're you're a loser. And it's spinning. (laughs) You're a lame loser, Landry. You think I'm waiting on that? Is this part of Yacht Rock? On vinyl records with Z-Bear. So anyway, as I was saying, Landry, t- tonight, no, it's tomorrow. Okay, today, 40, 40% chance of rain this afternoon. Tonight, 90% chance of rain. You ready for this, Landry? Tonight, 90% chance. I don't think you're ready for this. Tomorrow, also known as Friday, showers and possibly a thunderstorm. High of 60, northeast wind shifting southeast 10 to 20. Chance of rain? One. 100 percent there are running do you guys even remember this song from the 80s gary morris tomorrow landry this song describes tomorrow perfectly could not have done better Is there anybody out there who wants a second-hand heart? Did he play Jean Valjean in Les Mis? I think so. Yesterday. He was on Broadway. Well, I don't. I don't know if it was on Broadway. Won't might have been. Well, in, it wasn't Community. It might have been in Rochester, for all I know. I don't know. Rochester. You don't know. I don't know. No kidding. <laughs> tomorrow, this afternoon, forty percent chance of rain. Tonight, ninety percent. Tomorrow, hundred percent chance of rain. That means we're in a flood watch. That's why we're in a flood watch tonight and tomorrow. Watch the flood, Landry. Look out. Jump back. Text us about the rain chances. Text us about how much sleep you need. 225-9697. 
original Valjean on Broadway. Really? Ain't no sun, ain't no blue sky. You know what my favorite song of his is? Uh, the Love She Found in Me. That is a beautiful song. Thank you. Landry, it's a beautiful, you can deny it all you want, but it is a beautiful song. Look, headed for a heartache. Run along, down, run along, and better stop before it's too late. That was Gary Morris. 100% chance of rain. Is there anybody out there who wants a secondhand heart? Uh, Gary he Morris? Was, he was, he was like the, the, the next uh, coming of Bo Duke. Uh, I get, here we go, Landry. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready. I get at least eight hours of sleep. And I fall asleep within five minutes of getting into bed. I officially hate that person. That is glorious. <laughs> I am so envious. Eight hours of sleep a night and falls asleep within five minutes. How do you do it? <clears throat> That's my question. One listener says, I feel better with four hours of sleep than with eight. I feel groggy. Our high school basketball coach, Max Shuck, who may have been an evil genius, mm-hmm. talked about, I remember when we were in high school, he talked about how you, when you get too much sleep... You feel like a wet rag. And I thought, too much sleep. Is that possible? <laughs> Here's another one on the text line. Yeah. 225-9697. I'm trying to figure out who the people are that can get 8 to 10 hours of sleep a night. How? Husband, father of four, work full time, live life. I can't even get into the bathroom sometimes. <laughs> my man. That's what I'm saying. That's true. Cannot that even. I have, I have two bathrooms, Landry, at yeah. my house, and I cannot get into the bathroom sometimes. Isn't it? Isn't it annoying when the kids go into your bathroom? I've got a bathroom, my own bathroom, and sometimes my kids <laughs> well, that, occupy that one. I'd bring out the belt in that case. I mean, forget Occupy Wall Street; they occupy my bathroom. One listener says, "Shout out to the Sweetwater Bulldogs, 2024 Cross Country Class A State Champions." That's right. We read off the names earlier, Landry. Another listener on the text line, 2259697, says, Stay off your cell phone an hour before you're going to go to sleep. Then do some meditation to clear your mind. Have a nice, cool temperature in your house. Mm, and that mo- is true. And most importantly, mm-hmm. stop living in fear. A listener claims Gary Morris was the original Valjean on Broadway. Jean Valjean? Master of the house, doling out the charm. Ready with a handshake and an open palm. No, and yes, Borat. I know. Listen, I know Valjean didn't sing that you song. Know Borat sang that song. But that is one of my, that's maybe my favorite, that's one of my favorite songs from Les Miserables. Borat. Les Miserables. Borat, Nathan. Yeah. I mean, Hugh Jackman was good in that. Sasha Baron Cohen. Or is she Cohen Baron? I'll tell you who was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know who's terrible, Lady. Russell Crowe. Actually, not in the movie so much, but have you seen on YouTube... The, uh, the the rehearsal for the Academy Awards or the Tonys or the Broadway Awards or whatever. They're rehearsing the song, everybody who was in the movie version of Les Mis, and Russell Crowe was in there, and I presume he already did the movie, and yet a guy's having to teach him how to sing the song <laughs> while they're rehearsing. And they're, they're, do, they're keeping time together. <laughs> it is the oddest thing. Didn't he have why to did sing they, the song? Why did they cast him? Great actor, terrible singer. Because Bo Duke was busy. Did somebody owe somebody... Money because, or a favor or something? Because John Schneider was busy. They couldn't get Gary Morris. Headed for a heartache. Better stop before it's too late. Nathan. Nathan. Yes. The early yes. gets the Thanksgiving meal. Did you know that you can <laughs> Did you know you can pre order Thanksgiving food in Oklahoma City right now? You can pre order it. Order it be before. You it, wait order a minute. It. But won't it be won't it be cold by the time Thanksgiving gets here? So you order it before you order it. Yeah. That's the pre-order. Landry, the singer, y'all are talking. This is from the text line. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, you know what? You guys are the stars of the show. We're just here to facilitate. Mm-hmm. The singer y'all are talking about, Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Was he in that movie Bloodsport on Broadway also? <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. Sounds One like day job. more, another day, another destiny. Jean Claude, damn the muscles from Brussels. <laughs> Sounds like a job for Braveheart. That is a great. Oh, do you like watching movies in the Winnebago? Oops, wrong one. I got two things pulled up at once, and I hate it do, when that do happens. Do I have sound? Hold on. Did we restore sound to me? Uh, hold on. 
I got it. God bless you and send you a happy new year. God send you a happy it's new thirsty year. Thirsty weather. Man. If you think if you think I'm God not going to have wassail tomorrow, you are out of your minds. One day a year. Yes. One day a year I get wassail. And I'm a going a wassailing tomorrow at Grandview Pharmacy and Gifts. Send you a happy new year. God send you a happy new year. You think they go a wassailing? A wassail cup is made of the rosemary tree. Up there they say a wassa. You know that on purpose? I think so. Why? That's eastern Oklahoma. They're a little different over there. That's practically Missouri. It's practically Drinkwitz territory. Columbia. Tomorrow, going a wassailing. Here we go. Here we come a among the leaves of green. I cannot wait to hear Colby Brewster sing this song tomorrow. And with a with with some harmony by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Brewster, Brewster, be a Brewster. We're gonna go wassailing tomorrow at Grandview Pharmacy and Gifts. Robert Kennedy Jr., don't don't be grouchy like a rooster. <laughs> Brewster, Brewster, be a Brewster. Colby Brewster, Brewster, be a Brewster. Friday, tomorrow, they're going to give away a big screen TV. Saturday, a Blackstone Griddle. They're getting serious about it. It's a Grandview Pharmacy and Gifts Christmas open house the next couple of days. When you go get the gift is, while you're sending your text is, if you buy gifts, because they're going to have all kinds of great stuff. I mean, uh, they, they do. Uh, when you go check out, you can draw a card. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a two, three, or four. You're going to get 20, 30, or 40% off all gift items you buy tomorrow. That's good. And they gift wrap it for free. Yeah, they do. And you get cookies and hot wassail. Among the leaves are green. Here we come a wandering so fairer to be seen. Love and joy come to you and to you your wassail too. Wassail. Yeah, baby. We're going to have hot wassail tomorrow. Granby Pharmacy and Gifts. West 3rd and Elk City between Sherwin Williams and Subway. We are not daily beggars that beg from door to door, but we're your neighbor's children who you have seen before. Love and joy come to you and to you your WhatsApp. Good morning, partly cloudy, 46 outside. This is the Paragon Morning News. I'm Jared Atham. Tuesday was Election Day across the country, and in Oklahoma, Republican Donald Trump maintained strong support, winning the state decisively with 66% of the vote. Locally, Trump's backing surged even higher, receiving 75% of votes in Custer County, 86% in Washita, 84% in Beckham, and a commanding 89% in Roger Mills County. In Clinton, two key positions were up for election, including the mayor's seat, where incumbent David Barong held off challenger Chris Rowland by obtaining 67% of the vote. For the council seat in Ward 4, incumbent Arthur Lloyd Jr. retained the seat by ousting challenger and former Ward 4 city councilman Bobby Stewart, with Lloyd seeing just nine more votes than his challenger at 51%. In Oklahoma's congressional races, incumbents held strong as all four contested districts re-elected their Republican representatives. House District 3 saw no election this cycle as Representative Frank Lucas of Cheyenne ran unopposed. Oklahoma Corporation Commission Republican Brian Bingman emerged victorious, taking one of the three seats available by defeating Democrat Harold Spradling and Libertarian Chad Williams. State questions voters weighed in on included state question 833, which would have allowed cities to establish public infrastructure districts, was rejected by 61 percent of voters. However, state question 834, a constitutional amendment, specifying that only American citizens may vote in Oklahoma elections, passed overwhelmingly with 80% approval. Oklahoma's election day showcased strong support for both the Republican ticket and local incumbents, with voter sentiments resonating in favor of conservative policies and leadership. Swazoo wrapped up this year's homecoming festivities on Saturday, where Carly McKinnon of Oak City was crowned 2024 homecoming queen. The announcement took place during halftime at the Swazoo versus Southeastern Oklahoma State University football game. Landry Freeman, a biology major from Marlowe and president of the Student Government Association, was crowned homecoming king. Freeman was sponsored by the Student Government Association, while McKinnon was sponsored by Swazoo Residence Life and Housing. As part of the selection process, McKinnon and Freeman, along with other finalists, participated in panel interviews with Swazoo students, faculty, and administrators. These stories and more on our Facebook page and website. Once again, partly cloudy at 46. This has been the Paragon Morning News. I'm Jared Atha. 
grass gets pretty lean around here, and your cattle are hungry, so you come into the store to look around and find the feed you're looking after. It's here because we keep it stocked. Empty shelves won't help your cattle any more than bare pasture will. The warehouse is stocked with high-pro feeds, and they're going to stay that way. We don't want to waste your time or ours. Kirk Feeds and Eric. Look at our Facebook page for the address and phone number. We'll keep the warehouse stocked at Kirk Feeds, and all we ask is a fair price in return. Sound good? Level up your fitness at Modern Fitness. With 24-hour access, you can work out anytime you want. Modern Fitness in Elk City. Get in shape and have fun doing it at a really nice gym. Your morning dose of information returns right now. Let's get back to the early morning show on KECO. Farmers need bolts. They got bolts at Camrock. In fact, they'll come to your place, put a bolt bin there, fill her up for you as often as you need a Camrock Supply for all your bolts. Camrock Supply, next to Fred's Steakhouse in Elk City. The website, camrocksupply.com. 96.5 KECO's The Early Morning Show, Aero Equip. Aero, excuse me, Aero Equip, Cattle Equipment. Everett's Welding and Repairs, page one of the Penny News. Penny News is out. How about you, Cantrell Grissom Cattle Company, inaugural fall female and bull sales this Saturday, 1230. Take a look, page one. Into this guy, Gary Morris. That look with the beard, that's eight. That is so 80s. Yeah, I know. It's like he could sing with Alabama. Yeah, and appear on an episode of Magnum P.I. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Morris had a really nice voice. Not your traditional country. He's from the South somewhere. I don't know where, but uh, a really good voice, though. He, it was on Broadway. Yeah. Oh, here's the real deal. He's no Billy Joe Royal, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. Just see the love. Are the Thunder undefeated still? And will they will they be undefeated the rest of the season? Yeah, they're not gonna lose a game. Amazing. Penny News, I'm looking at it. Latest one's out. You got all this great Atwoods information inside. 32 ounce a jug of Swanson chicken broth, two for four dollars. Assorted sugar and spice. Sugar and spice spices. 10% off right now. And those feathered knit jackered throws, these throw rugs that are all the rage. Everybody get these throw rugs. Or no, not rugs. <laughs> throw rug. Blanket. What an idiot. Throw blankets. Feather knit jackered throws. <laughs> only twelve ninety nine. Save two dollars right now. Give her thorns and she'll find the roses. How long has he lived at Woodward now? Yeah. So he was Jean, apparently. Jean Valjean. 96.5 KEC of Elk City. When the world starts closing in. President Biden will address the nation. And I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. In three hours, the day after he called President-elect Trump to congratulate him and pledge a smooth transition. Biden was told privately this summer that he had a 0% chance of beating Trump, but... After that, Harris got a huge bounce when she joined the ticket and had a glitzy convention 